you realize something terribly was wrong. And he couldn't stop it. On Saturday, there was chaos at Flavette Field. Today, everything was pretty much back to normal. The fence was still broken, but the plane wreckage and smashed truck have been removed. The McDonald's banner the plane was carrying was found a mile away. We spoke to some forestry rangers earlier today and they told us the plane hit the ground here. You can see these skid marks and then rolled into that fence over there. UF Physical Plant lifted the plane into a truck and took it away. Overall, things could have been worse, but the fact that it was game day actually made the response of emergency services better. Specifically an airplane crash at Flavette Field, no, you can never predict where that's going to happen. But, you know, we do plan for large events. In this situation, it was prior to a football game. So all of incident command was already in place for law enforcement and for ambulance personnel and fire personnel responding to the scene. The pilot also managed to find one of the only parts of campus not completely filled with game day tailgaters. The amazing part is, and that the pilot, kudos to the pilot, it is obvious that he took an effort not to hit anything. Going forward, GPD would like to see some changes. I think if you spoke to any law enforcement official on a college campus uh, in the United States right now, they would be absolutely for a more restricted area, a more restricted flight space. Right now, air traffic is only restricted over large venues one hour before game time. Corey Brooks, WUFT News.